Hi guys, it's Annika here with Tip Ranks, and today we're going to look at two penny stocks that could soar to up to 200%. The first penny stock company is Cybin, and Cybin's ticker is CYBN. Cybin is a biopharmaceutical company with a focus on mental health. The company works with psychedelic therapeutics for the treatment of anxiety, depression, and addictive disorders. Over 700 million people are affected globally with some sort of mental illness, addiction, or eating disorder. Cybin has 14 patent filings to its credit covering novel psychedelic compounds, drug delivery mechanisms, and a drug discovery pipeline of novel tripotamines and phenethymolines. Cybin has completed 50 preclinical studies and now has a few active pipeline projects targeting major depressive disorder, anxiety disorders, and alcohol addiction. In its development program, Cybin is following a three-pillar strategy. The company is using a combination of a novel drug discovery platform, proprietary drug delivery systems, and an innovative treatment regimen to improve the efficacy of mental health treatments. The leading candidate in the pipeline is CYB001, and it is a proposed treatment for major depressive disorder. The drug is a psilocybin derivative administered through a sublingual film, that is, a dissolving film that is placed under the tongue. There are no pills to swallow or injections to take. The drug candidate is currently undergoing Phase 2A and Phase 2B clinical trials. The first is an open-label BE study and the second is a double-blind placebo-controlled study of dose escalation and safety with 80 patients on the drug and 40 on the placebo. Results are expected by the middle of next year. Cybin also has deuterated tripotamines, CYB003 and CYB004 in its preclinical pipeline, which it is developing for alcohol use disorder and anxiety respectively. First in human studies are on track for early 2022. The current price for Cybin is $1.92 and the analyst price target is a whopping $8 which is a 316.67% upside based on four Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets for Cybin. Oppenheimer analyst Francois Brisbois has rated Cybin an outperform and he has a $7 price target, which is a 274.33% upside potential for the stock. Brisbois describes the company as a differentiated and scalable biotech psychedelic play. And he wrote that as the psychedelic field is gaining steam of late, we are encouraged by Cybin's biotech approach to drug development and its potential ability to overcome significant scalability issues in the space. In fact, we see its innovative drug delivery systems and novel formulation approaches as key to long-term competitive positioning. Cybin's active drug development programs represent multi-billion dollar global market opportunity. For major depressive disorder, the global market size is 12.7 billion as of 2020, and it's expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of around 3% during 2021 to 2026. As for alcohol use disorder, it has a global market size of just shy of $1.5 billion, with a compounded annual growth rate of 6.5%. And overall, the total global drug addiction treatment market to reach $31.17 billion by 2027. As for anxiety disorders, they can tap into a global market size of $7.4 billion by 2023, and this is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of around 2.5% between 2021 and 2023. As you can see, they have many drugs in the way in their clinical pipeline, with CYB001 at its furthest around between Phase 1 and Phase 2. As these drugs reach within registration stage, we will see more approvals take place within healthcare systems and therefore further commercialization. And when there is commercialization, we can see further mass adoption. The second penny stock with a strong buy rating is Aquestive Therapeutics and its ticker is AQST. Aquestive Therapeutics is a biotech stock and it has a wide ranging product line with drug candidates in preclinical phases as well as clinical phases in development. Aquestive 
Questive bases its medications, both the approved and the ones in development, on an oral film delivery system. The film can be used in several locations around the mouth, including on and under the tongue and on the inside of the cheek. A Questive has four medications approved for use and on the market. The drugs, which include Suboxone, Zuplanx, Kynmobi and Exovan, are used to treat a wide range of conditions. Suboxone is an opioid indicated to treat chronic pain and opiate addiction. Zuplens treats nausea secondary to chemotherapy and Kynmobi is used in treatment symptoms of Parkinson's disease and Exavan is a treatment for the Degenerative Nervous System Disorder, ALS. As you can see, their products are in different clinical stages, some in preclinical, clinical, some that are filed and some that are already marketed and FDA approved. In Q2 2021, Equestive realized over 15.3 million in revenues, primarily from its line of approved drugs. While down from the 21.6 million reported in Q2 2020, it was the highest revenue number of the last four quarters and the second quarter in a row of increasing revenue. The clinical studies include phase one trials of AQSD 108 and AQSD 109, two epinephrine treatments for severe allergic reactions, including anaphylactic shock. The study of AQSD 109 is ongoing in Canada and top line results are expected before the end of this year. The study of AQSD 108 is being held in the US and the company will be meeting with the FDA before the end of this year to discuss further steps. The current price for AQSD is $4.35 and analysts deem it to be a strong buy with an analyst price target of $15.50. This is a 256.32% upside based on five Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets for Equestive Therapeutics. BMO Capital Analyst Gary Natchman describes the company as evolving from a development researcher into a commercialization company and notes that the pending approval of Libervant is a key catalyst. He says, we remain optimistic about Libervant products in refractory seizures despite CRL with approval and launch expected between 2021 and 2022. Equestive has been engaged with the FDA on Libervant NDA in a variety of ways. This includes mid-cycle review last week with just some minor CMC questions related to dose requirements, so cutting different size doses. Post-marketing AE reporting capability inspection by FDA, that is finishing up, and they've had no issues since pharmacovigilance already in place with Simpazan. And there has been no issues since pharmacovigilance already in place with Simpazan and an update on IP sightings likely for OB listing and approval of the drug's trade name, Natchman wrote. So guys, those are the two strong buy penny stock picks. What do you guys think? And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button down below and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. And also don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.